it's Kate Clinton here. Thanks for stopping by. You know, I was just up on the roof here at the building uh, checking the satellite dish because I watched that State of the Union address and apparently I did not get the same signal as everyone else. So I went up there. There's no snow in it. I don't know what scrambled it because I watched the speech. I watched everybody file in. That was kind of fun, kind of crazy. I'm always looking for my Tammy Baldwin. What was she wearing? Who was she sitting with? I couldn't find her. And I watched John Boehner sitting behind President Obama. Gotta get your poker face on, big fella. Looked like he was sitting in something and just thinking about when he could have his first cigarette and drink after the event was over. And I thought the salmon joke was well delivered, well done. <laughs> but other than that, I didn't watch the same speech. Obama said we have to, you know, get ready and claim the future, and oh, that really pisses everybody off. Everybody off. Investments that meant, of course, let's just drive the country over the cliff into a deeper depression. Of course, that's what it meant. Invest in education because apparently our education system is not doing that well, and well, we have to be the best, and that's American exceptionalism. And invest in clean energy, and he mentioned oil. Ooh. And infrastructure, well, I'm against that, unless they could fix the road out in front of my house. You know how that goes. People will just not cut him any slack. It's amazing, although I did have a problem with the ROTC thing. Now that there are gays in the military, we can have ROTCs back on campus. Not until we fix the transgender thing. But then watching the response after I was sure I did not see the same speech, that uh, Paul Ryan from uh, Wisconsin, a very handsome young man, I didn't see the same speech he did. And then, of course, I watched Michelle Bachman from Minnesota. Definitely, it really made me almost long for Bobby Jindal. But speaking of Minnesota, I'm on my way to the Creating Change Conference in Minneapolis. I hope I see a lot of you there. Thanks for stopping by.